Disrespected and devastated. That's how the Paulist priests at the Newman Center describe themselves after learning the Catholic bishop will install a new executive director and strip them of their authority to run the OSU campus ministry. Instead, they will leave. Bishop Earl Fernandez tells me he wanted the Paulus to stay on, but under the authority of the diocese, as he focuses on student evangelization and vocation of new priests. But many members of the Newman congregation tell me they believe the Paulus were asked to leave as part of a national conservative trend because the Newman Center opens its arms to the gay community. At Boston University, the University of Texas, and now Ohio State University, Paulus priests have been asked to leave after decades of service. Some morning I'm going to wake up and say, not only did I lose my job, I lost my home. 91-year-old Father Vinny McKiernan is trying to figure out where he will go now. After serving the Newman Center for nearly four decades with the Paulist mission of welcoming all, including gay singles and couples. But when the bishop comes and it violates what he thinks, and he doesn't even ask about the inclusion in this community, he just tells them, no, you will be me and not your congregational directives. Jesus spent a lot of time with the outcasts, the lepers, the uh, prostitutes, and um, publicans. So what's wrong with dealing with the outcasts in the cast of characters of Jesus? Many of the things are not, they're rooted in more rumor or fear than in fact. There's a belief that it's because the Newman Center is so welcoming to the LGBTQ community. How do you react to the, that criticism? Well, as I said in the statement, this, this move had nothing to do with that. It had everything to do with those priorities I mentioned earlier, evangelization and vocations. But the bishop also adheres to the teachings of the church, that state same-sex attraction is wrong and gays should practice celibacy. So if someone says to me, look, Father, I experience same-sex attraction, but I want to live the church's teaching. I want to live in the freedom of the sons and daughters of God. Can you help me? I want to say, yeah, we can help you. I've been in a relationship for 41 years with my partner. And for all that time, they've attended mass at the Newman Center. Who are they going to bury me? Do I have to deny who I am or give up my partner? That's not going to happen. So, so where do I go? Do you feel abandoned? Oh my God, yes. I, I, I mean, it's, my whole heart just was sucked out of me. But Bishop Fernandez insists focusing on students will not result in exclusion of others. And this is one of the things that came out in a lot of the, the emails that I received, was many people find the, the welcoming atmosphere at the Newman Center. And that's what we hope continues, that people have a sense of belonging. The final mass for the Paulus, an independent group of priests, will be held Sunday, July 31st. Bishop Fernandez says he hopes members of the congregation will then be open and welcoming to the new young priests he will be sending to the Newman Center. And we talked with a number of members of the Newman Center, Paulus priests, and of course the bishop about this transition period. And you can find our previous story at NBC4I.com.